All right. What is up, guys? Back here with another stream. Mascot mashup tournament. First game, yes, sir. TCU coming out of the 32 seed. Toledo is a one. The seeds were just randomly drawn. So it's, it's not like the, there's any favoritism or anything. The seeds are randomly drawn. What's up, Eli? What's up, Sports Prod? What's up, Tyler? What's up, Nicholas? Nothing much, man. Second and four. First, that's gonna be incomplete, actually. Third and four. So you will tell you for the one. Hold up, guys. Let me turn this back on. One. I have the sound turned off. Third and four. You throw it. That's gonna be a first down, Toledo. Playing Stanford Stadium, of course. <laughs> Gotta start it off. Stanford Stadium. First and ten. Throwing it down the field. He's got a man. Eight yards. Second and two. Uh, I'm gonna. Go to settings. My settings real quick. Second and two. Gonna throw it again. Looking down the field. He's got all day. Throws it. He's got a man. Still going. First down. All right, guys. That's not what I want. Stanford, the get the trees. Yep. We'll be patiently waiting for their uh, time to be time. First and ten. He's gonna throw. He's got another man. First down. Bryce Mitchell. Uh, should be working now. Hopefully. Hopefully it will be. Let's go ahead and your flip your college football five fun is the best. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's gonna be a touchdown to Lito. Bryce Mitchell thirteen yards. Gonna be a uh touchdown there. What's up, uh, what's up, Butters? How's it going, man? Wonder what happened to Andre. I haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, he's been gone for a while. He really has been gone for a while. So Toledo gonna take an early 7-0 lead, guys. This game, who knows how this is gonna go? Both teams are 9-9 overall. That's how it is with mascot mashup. Alright. Screen's gonna go black for a second. Is it working? Yeah, it is. We got the audio. Alright. Nice. All right, second and ten. Hope he comes back. Yeah, we miss him. UGA. Watch college game day all the time. Nice. It's taking off. It's zero yards. Gonna be third and ten. So this Toledo uh, mascot defense we're gonna be pretty tough. Which mascot is better? Third and ten. He's going to throw it. Oh, he tries to go for the one-handed pick. It's going to be fourth and ten. So, guys, this tournament, we're going to figure out what, what we're going to figure out once and for all what is the best college mascot. We are going to figure it out once and for all. Whoever wins this tournament is the best college mascot. Not getting anything on that return. Toledo is just built different. Yep. It's for the one seed. You know how it is. Albert versus Baldwin. 
First and ten. He's gonna throw it. Incomplete. Almost picked. It's gonna be second and ten. Eli Peters had a really good first drive. But um, starting off kind of cool here. Second and ten. He's got all day to throw. He's gonna get sacked. Third and fifteen. When will the second game start? It's gonna be tomorrow at probably four. Well, I had time to do one game today. Third and fifteen. He's got all day. Wow, that's perfect blocking. Throwing on the field, it's gonna be caught. Well, a Lamsey con Lamsey constant. What a catch! Holy crap! So you guys, with this mascot tournament, we're gonna be seeing a lot of big plays too. A lot, a lot, a lot of big plays. That's one right there. First and goal. It's gonna take off. Slides down. Second goal. Uh, four o'clock PST or CST? CST. So it'll be two o'clock for you. Second and goal. It's got all day. It's throws it out the end zone. Third and goal. What a catch, Jeffro. What's up, Elon? Tomorrow, Oregon. I don't know. Let me check. Third and goal. Hand off. End zone. Touchdown, Toledo. They're taking a 14 0 lead here. So, Toledo. You know, you're taking a 14 0 lead here. Good start for the Rockets. Pretty sure the name of the mascot is Rocky. Uh, let's see. The, ma ma the game tomorrow is Iowa State versus Western Michigan. Oregon. Are they? Did I forget to put them in the tournament? No, I didn't. Oregon will, Oregon will be playing for a while, actually. Number one, I think they're the last game of the round one. Which I forgot to name it round one. I'm so stupid. Alright. Not a bad run there. Second and four, almost the end of the first quarter. Dug it four yards, getting a first down, the good read option play there. These mascots are going to be giving us good plays. 9 out of raw, everything. First and 10, throws it. Wide open. Caught. First and 10. Iowa State versus Western Michigan, yep. First and 10. Gonna throw it. That's not gonna get much. Two yards there. Second and eight. JD Spielman again. Stanford Cardinal. Second and eight. He's gonna take off. Breaks through there somehow. Wow. Fans get the one yard. So third and seven. Third and seven. Five seconds. He's gonna throw it. He's got a man. I don't know why threw a one-yard pass on third and seven to be fourth and six until Toledo is gonna come up with another stop. That's impressive. Out of the end zone. Let's go. So, all right, so first and 10. That was something on my phone, by the way, I was looking at. It. First and 10. Go, go back and get 17 yards there. First and 10, a good rush. So, Toledo proven to be a pretty decent one seed here, actually. Let's see. One time I was Stanford and I got kick return on San Jose State. Nice. Cable trends are hard to get. They really are. You gotta have a really fast person. That brings up second and 
You got really gotta have a fast person. Second and five, first down there. First and ten. Handoff. It's about four there. Second and six. Second and six. Maybe about four yards there. Third and three. Third and three. He's going to get a first down. So, not what TCU wanted there. 11 yards. He's got 44 on the day and a touchdown. Good, yeah, good day. By, by, look at the total yard difference. Because 180 to 25. Holy crap. First and 10, Toledo. Six yards there, second and four. The key for kick returns is to run the middle and cut the outside the last second, yeah. Dude, that's what I do on my offline North Dakota State Dynasty. I have like a nine number all everything player. Like nine number all speed. Like speed, acceleration, agility. And that's, that's freaking, uh, he's just so fast. You have a Belgian man. I know how to say that. Illinois dog. Illinois dog, nice man. That's cool. He looks like a German Shepherd. I don't have a dog, so. If I feel like that Penn State and Ohio State is a good rivalry. So it's a decent one, I guess. Gets to the outside, 15 yards, first and goal. Decent rally, not as good as Michigan and Ohio State, I'd say. But it's pretty good. First and goal. That's another touchdown. Holy crap. So Toledo gonna take a 21 to 0 lead here. With about two minutes left for the halftime, guys. And you guys know the, the emergency rule. Or if we're if uh, we're by the fourth quarter and the other team has a three possession lead, which they do, three or more possession lead, uh, we get sim. So, not a good start for TCU, but you gotta remember these teams are 99 overall, so they could easily come back. They could easily come back. We're gonna see high score games, probably, if I had to guess. First and Ted throws it. About four yards there, second and six. Second and six. Throws it out. That's going to be all oh, I was almost picked. That was a dangerous throw. Going to be third and six. Third and six, throws it out of bounds. Fourth and six, T Tulane, I mean not Tulane, sorry guys. Toledo comes up with another stop. Fourth and six, not looking good for TCU. Still plenty of game left, but Toledo just looks unstoppable right now. I like how the coach is in a mascot, like everything else is just funny. First and ten. Like, how do you know who the players are? Like, especially once they get in like a pile, you wouldn't know who to. First and ten, throws it wide open, man. First and ten, he had to step on his feet a lot. Uh, he had to step on his feet a lot because the shoes are so big. I mean, he's got like boots out here. They're looking freaking boots. This year, college football health league course, I picked the Buckeyes. Yep, he got it wrong. First and ten. He's going to throw it. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Breaks another tackle. Gets a first down. Drew Rosie. 11 yards. Remember the guy saying, oh, it troubles the snap and the ball is free. Yeah. 
They scored the last play of the game, I believe. Yep, you got it right. Last six yards there, second and 16. Second and 16. That was a cheesy play, that last one was. Dude, they threw out to my man, he got broke like three tackles. Second and 16, throws it. He's got a man. 13 yards, third and three. Excited about this same, man. Oh, this is not a very good first game. Toledo must be really good. Third and three, throws it. Ooh, almost picked. That should have been picked. I can have picked six there. Said, guys, Toledo's going to come out here. The field. I don't know why I keep saying Toledo. Toledo's going to come out here with a field goal. And we're taking a 24 to 0 lead. Wow. This game not even close as of right now. Because it's Ohio mascot, I attack the Ohio State Buckeyes mascot. That's hilarious, dude. I, I haven't watched that, but I've heard about it, so I bet it's funny. I was young when that happened. Great matchup. Uh, I don't know. It's not a very good game. But uh, these teams are 9 overall. First and 10. TCU gets about 8 there. Second and 2. Can TCU mount a comeback? They could. I mean, these teams are 99 overall, so anything could happen. Anything could really happen. Second and two, he's gonna throw it. He's got a man, but it's out of bounds. Third and two. Third and two here. These two needs this conversion, and they, let's see if they get it. He's gonna take off, and they will not get it. So Toledo's gonna get the ball back. Fourth and five. Toledo, man, they got, a, they have a, it's, they have a four possession lead right now. It's just crazy, dude. It's not even half time yet. It's just crazy, dude. First and ten. Screen pass, throws it out. Okay, second and ten. Maybe uh, TCU can force a pick here. They need to end, the, they need, they need to end um, this uh, half on a high note if they don't have a chance to make a comeback. Third and seven. He's going to throw it. He's got a man first down. First and ten is not how they wanted to end it. First and ten. One last play here. He's going to take off. It's about five yards there. Second and five. But it's going to be halftime. So 24-0 to ball game here. Halftime. What can TCU do to come back? It's going to be hard for him to come back. It really is. Mix to the, mix to the um, Florida spam. Butters, appreciate that. So, first and ten. Toledo has a commanding lead. TCU needs to score on this drive, I'd say. And they got a man wide open. It's about 21 yards. First down. That's a good start. That's a good start if they want to start coming back. First and ten. It's gonna be at nine yards, second and one. Second and one here. He's gonna take off. He's got the first down. He's breaks the tackle. Max Duggan gets twenty two, first and ten. Ohio. First and ten. 
eight yards there by Zachary Evans. Took it to. Can't wait for the Harry Dog game. I can't wait for the freaking. I can't wait for the Stanford game, dude. Six yards, first and goal. Imagine, imagine when Stan, imagine Stanford and Syracuse play each other, dude. That'd just be hilarious. First and goal, handoff, almost in the end zone. That should have been a touchdown. First, second and goal. Is it po is that possibly for that to be the championship? Syracuse. No, it's not, but it can be a quarterfinal then. Second goal is going to take off. Touchdown, TCU. So, TCU finally going to get on the board here. At seven points, so they're going to be going for two. So, they can try to make it a three possession game. But they don't get this. It's back to a four possession, though. They're risking it, and they're going to get it. So, good start for a TCU comeback here. Eight points on the board. They need to do that two more times, and they'll come be back in the game. They need to do it one more time, and they'll be back. But the two more times, they'll tie it up. But this Toledo offense has been proving tough. We'll see. I remember Bevo charged at UGA, the Sugar Bowl. Yep, I remember that. First and ten, read option. He's gonna take it. About about seven yards there. Second and three. Second and three. Three yards there. First and ten. First and ten, it's an incomplete pass, I think. That was a weird play there. Second and ten. That was weird. Five yards there. Third and five. TCU needs to stop right here. If they don't get it, then you... Might as well call it a wrap. And they're going to get the stop. So, TCU. They get a touchdown. They get the 2 of 1 conversion. They get a stop. Now, they need. I'd say they need to get another touchdown and 2 point conversion before the fourth quarter. That's definitely possible. That's definitely possible. Right now. It's it's only a two position game, so he wouldn't be simulating. If they go if we go by seven and it's fifteen and twenty two, that's still a two possession game. Actually it's a three possession game, but it's there's a possibility as long as there's a possibility for the possession to be under three, then it's we're not simulating. So right now we are not simulating unless Toledo scores in a minute forty. You got Florida, you forgot the A though. But it is. Second and six, he takes off. Zero yards there. Third and six, not what uh, TCU wanted. Third and six, gonna be a pretty tough conversion on this 99 overall Toledo defense. Third and six. He's gonna throw it. Almost incomplete, almost picked, sorry. Incomplete. Fourth and six. What's up, I agree, but this game's not a good one. It's 24 to zero at halftime. Uh, TCU managed again on the board. He muffed it. He muffed it. That's funny. That's me at first and ten. Like nine overall players muffing kick returns. It's funny. First and ten. If Toledo scores, even if it's a field goal, guys, if they, as long as they score, even if it's safety, it doesn't matter. If they score two or more points, we're simulating. So, so TCU needs to get a stop. 
Boy, this is a bad game. Yep, yeah, it is. It really is. It really is. Actually, I was going to be a team to watch out for, I guess. It's sack, though. Minus eight yards. Third and 18. TCU does not want, want to get sim out, simmed out of this game. They do not want to get simmed out of this game. Third and 18. Throws it. Yeah, seven yards there. Fourth and 11. Yeah, that was a big sack for TCU. Now we will not be simming in the fourth quarter. There's no way Toledo scores in 25 seconds without the ball. The rule is, any time in the fourth quarter, uh, Toledo goes up by three possessions or more. We'll sim, but uh, right now it's a two-possession game, two, two eights. That's automatically tied up. First and ten. It's going to take off. About one yard there, second and nine. So that's probably going to bring us to the fourth quarter. May have time for one more play. No, we're not going to. So that's going to bring us to the fourth quarter. 24 to 8 game. TCU definitely needs to score on this drive. They definitely, if they don't score on this drive, they can call it a rat, pretty much. He's going to take off and get stumbles. It's going to be third and six. Sir, how'd you have you been in Disneyland? No, but I've been in Disney World before. Not land, it's too far away from Arkansas. Third and six. He's going to get sacked. They try to run a screen pass. Max Duggan. It's sacked. Devin, Devin Rogers all over that. Just kind of get the screen pass off. That's going to be fourth and 17, guys, and that's going to be game. You've been to Florida. Nice. So have I. So that's going to be game, guys. Probably. Unless they get like a turnover touchdown. TC, like a pick six or a scoop and score. Well, they obviously need to force a turnover because Toledo's going to run conservative clock here. Probably need to force a fumble. Four yards there, second and six. You went to Disney World and Miami. Nice. I've been to Disney World and uh, Miami as well. But we didn't stay in Miami though. Well, we just had to be in Miami. Second six option. It's going to get sacked. Third and nine. TCU not going to use their timeout. That's interesting. D. Winters with 11 tackles. Holy crap. So I don't know why TCU didn't use their timeout there. That was weird. Third and nine. Good tackle there. TC going to call timeout. Fourth and seven, two minutes, a little under two minutes. Is Missouri in this? I don't know. I don't think they are, but I can check. Let me see here. It could be on the meme side. Let me see, Missouri. Texas Tech is on the meme side there, the number one seed. I don't see Missouri. So. First and ten. Throws it down the field. Incomplete. Good try there. Alright. A little close to Disneyland, but I go there every time. Um, 2014, 15, 16, and 19, early 2020. Nice. Georgia in this, yep, Georgia is the, let's see, what seat are they? Georgia is the, wait, where are they? No, I'm just kidding. Georgia's the 14th seed. Georgia's the 14th seed in the favorite team side. They're going against the Marshall. All right, second and 10, a minute 36 on the clock. TCU in trouble. They need to get a score quick. Throws it Bounces off his back. Wow. Third and ten. TCU 0 for 6 on third and down. Favorite Disney ride. Third and ten. He's going to throw it. Caught. What a catch. First down. 
My favorite Disney ride is um, the Rocket Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios in Florida. The Florida one. You've been to Florida, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Georgia, Maryland, Ohio, and other places. Nice. Nice. First and 10. Throws it. He's got 17 yards. First and 10. Yeah, I've been to Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, obviously, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, uh, Illinois, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina. First and ten, he's going to throw it. First down. I'm gone. See you. See you, Jaden. Glad you could uh, make the stream. Um, I've been to Maryland, Virginia, D.C., Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Touchdown there. 14 yards. Uh, I've been to Colorado. And this summer, I'm going to Nevada and Arizona. So, that's cool. Uh, not telling you guys when, though, because I don't want you guys to assassinate me. So, you know, it is what it is, right? T T T T TCU needs this, and they do get it. So that's going to be 24-16. All they need is one more score. They need to get this onside, though. They really do. They had never seen the CPU get an onside before. And it's going to hold true. I've been in Nevada, Florida, Florida, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey, and Virginia. Nice. Georgia, Alabama. I live in Ohio, but basically been every state in Northeast, Southern Maine, Nevada. Florida, Nebraska. Nice. First and ten. To laying it. I said it again, guys. Toledo going to get a big rush. First and ten. The farthest west I've ever been is Montana. First and ten. That's another big rush for Bryant Kobach. 22 yards. And that's going to ice this game, guys. So... Toledo going to be moving on. Hang on by thin threads there. Toledo scored uh, zero points in the second half. TCU scored zero in the first half. It was, TC it was, it was Tulane's first. I said it again, guys. I'm so stupid. It was Toledo's um, first half versus TCU's second half. And Toledo's first half was just better than TCU's second half. So third and goal. That's going to be the game, guys. 24-16 is your final. You're right. I'm in Indiana, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North, and South Carolina, Alabama, Ohio, Virginia, Kentucky, Illinois, Minnesota, Iowa, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Missouri. Nice. That's a lot. That's a lot. Grant Kobach, a fifth hundred fifteen. What a game by him. So, guys, let's go ahead and go check the tournament. You can't look at stats and ma mascot matchups, sadly. You cannot look at stats. You can, actually, but there's no point. So... Pull up the tournament real quick. Whoops, don't have it pulled up. Sorry, guys. Um, let me pull it up real quick. There we go. All right. Never out of the country, though. I actually have been out of the country. I've been to... Um... Cozumel, if you guys know where that is, it's like an island. It's an island around Mexico, something like that, like around Central America. But that's the only place I've been out of the United States. Um, so Toledo wins. They win the ball game, twenty-four to sixteen. So they're gonna be moving on. I right, guess tomorrow's game don't have times on here because we don't. I'm not gonna put times on here this time. Western Michigan and Iowa State will be the next game probably tomorrow at 4. That's the date set for right now, 4 p.m. Central Time. So 3 Eastern, 5. No, sorry, guys, 3 Eastern. Um, no, guys, 5, 5 Eastern, 3 Mountain Time, and 2 Pacific. And then um, 715, probably going to be. Cincinnati versus Miami. Miami has really good mascot. I know that. So.
Sorry, guys. Uh, so, that'll be a good game. The stadiums will just be random. I'm just going to pick probably Syracuse in the next one. Wake Forest will be one. And then just wait, guys. We're going to be using, we're gonna be using high school stadiums for the meme teams. You know, it is what it is, right? Meme teams, meme stadiums. No, I'm sorry, meme, not meme teams, meme mascots. You think Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer? He's probably... He probably should be, but I don't know if he'll put him in there. I don't think he will. He's definitely one of the best quarterbacks without a ring. Um, I feel like just because he didn't win a ring, I feel like they... I feel like because he didn't want a ring, they may not put him in the Hall of Fame. But so I could be wrong, you know. I could be wrong. I'm not right about everything. All right, guys. So thanks. Thank you for checking out the stream. Really, really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Um. You know, don't forget to check out when your favorite team come uh, comes up. Sorry, I agree, but but Michigan does not have a mascot, and neither does Liberty. Liberty's not in the game, and Michigan does not have a mascot. So you know, you hate to see it. Some of our favorite teams are not in there. Philip Rivers is not garbage. He's not garbage. He's just underrated. He's really underrated because he didn't want a ring. I'll be here for the next one. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. So I guess Owen couldn't make it. You hate to see that. And then, I guess. Michigan used to have a mascot, yeah, but not during NCAA 14. So, you know, it sucks. All right, I will.